Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a swipe and balloon kiss. I'm going to try and duplicate this painting that I did around the beginning of the year. So I'm using the same colors. This is a gorgeous metallic copper. I'm trying to show you in the light, but it's quite difficult. And this is the most stunning rose gold. Both are Eraldo de Paolo. Um, Montmartre silver. Very shimmery, beautiful. And Montmartre gold. Also very, very shimmery. A stunning gold. And then I am using a iridescent white. It is stunning. It is by Eraldo de Paolo and you can see in the light how it sh like shimmers and you can see the, a bit of the purple in it. It is really a stunning color. So I decided to give it a try. So I'm going to layer down my paints and layer them in a way that they kind of mix and match so that they blend in nicely. So when I do my balloon kisses I don't just get one color, I get a whole, you know, a range of all the colors coming out in one balloon kiss. I layer my iridescent white last in the hopes that it really shows through in the swipe and the balloon kisses. I want that shimmer and shine to show through as much as possible. I use my heat gun to pop the bubbles, however it does not work. The heat gun does not get hot enough to pop bubbles especially in metallics so I have to use my butane torch which I have to do in a lot of cases but especially with the metallic painting this the, the bubbles are extreme and it takes extreme heat to pop those bubbles and as I'm popping them you can see the silicone coming through which I forgot to mention I did use two drops of silicone per cup I'm going to tilt it now and um, to make sure it goes over my edges and my corners and that so that the paint blends and mixes. I have a lot of paint on my canvas so I can afford to tip over quite a bit. I'm always very nervous about tipping off too much. It's something I still have to just get over but it takes practice and I will get over that part soon enough. I just tilt where the paint tells me to to go. You know you manipulate it to a certain point but if there's a part of the canvas that is heavy with paint you just follow it and you know just tilt where it tells you to tilt almost. Sounds strange but I'm sure you know what I mean. After I've tilted, you can see what I mean with blending of the paints. They've all kind of mushed together. And the iridescent has almost made a kind of a pink with the rose gold. I'm really hoping at this point that it comes through nicely. And I was thinking I possibly should have used a lot more than I did. I'm now getting ready to swipe. There's my paper towel and I'm going to be using my plastic folder that I cut up that I always use to do the swiping and I'm swiping with black and I make an effort not to put too much like I always do but as you can see I 
don't get that part right again put too much black but it's okay I'm just going with it what comes out of it comes out of it and I'm happy regardless I enjoy swiping slowly it pulls more of the paint over and leaves more of the black on the surface of the canvas you can tell that the black was potentially a little bit too thick because normally cells start popping through quite quickly and this time they're not there are a few now but and also because of the metallic the metallic is a very thick heavy paint it's not easy to get cells with a metallic paint Okay, so I'm done with my swiping and it's time to get some heat on it. I'm going to try my heat gun and see if that works and if I can get some cells up and if it pops my bubbles. Metallic paints have a lot of bubbles, if I didn't say that earlier, and the heat gun just simply does not work. I fast forwarded this by four. To show you that I took really long to, you know, I tried for a long time with the heat gun. And it worked a little bit, but definitely not what the butane torch would have accomplished. So now I'm, there's too much black. So I'm tilting it so that some of that black runs off. But I don't want to tilt it too much because then my cells are going to stretch. And I want my cells to be as round as possible. And when you overstretch them, they elongate and I don't like that. So it's a fine balance between tilting off some black and not overstretching your soles. And then I send the paint back into the middle of the canvas, causing the soles to regain their shape. My last effort with a heat gun. And I give up on that. I used the torch for a very long time, once again speed it up by four. I'm going to try and get rid of some more of that black but it seems that the paint is just too thick and after all that torching the, the top layer of the paint does uh, I don't know how to explain get dry that gets a film there we go so the paint is a little bit more difficult to tilt I really, really tried to get some paint, uh, get some cells at the at the top there in all that black, but not highly successful. But that's okay. Like I said, I'll just go with whatever happens. Okay, so I've left the painting for twenty five minutes to dry a little bit and soak into the canvas, and now it is time for balloon kisses the i don't expect any petal type kisses at the top in the black because there's no cells however i know i will get some of that gorgeous color coming out there's the silver as you can see and the rose gold and the gold it will come out and some gorgeous effects will happen
this is one of my favorite things to do and if you enjoy watching the process of balloon kisses then please hang around and just enjoy watching it enjoy each balloon dip and see the effect of each different one it really is lovely if you're not such a fan of the balloon kissing then you feel free to fast forward obviously but please hang around to the at the end of the video there are some lovely close-ups and a close-up video which show shows the colors and the metallics beautifully it shows you the the actual result not just what you can see now it really is worth just hanging around or fast forwarding to see that part Okay, I'm pretty much done with my balloons. What I'm doing now is making the tiniest little kisses by using my finger to break up the huge ugly cells that I don't like. When they are big and distorted, I really don't like them. And I just thought, why not just poke at them and make them not so big and ugly? And it 
it worked. Some of them are really cute. They look like tiny little dips and flowers and it actually has a really great effect. I was quite impressed and now I know what to do when I have big, chunky, out of proportion cells. So I'm very happy with that. I am pretty much done with my painting. I would love to know what you think. I absolutely love it. I'm very happy with the end result. Um, would love you to please subscribe and support my channel and help me to grow. And thank you very much for watching. And if you stuck around all the way to the end, really appreciate it. The close up video is coming up. Please watch it. It is really beautiful. It, it shows those colors so beautifully. And the photos at the end. Thank you.